Hey everyone, it's John Isaias here from The Automator, where and we teach people how to use AutoHotkey. Ironically, we were on a hero call, which I'll put the link up here. It's a group of people where we every week we have three hours a week where we teach them stuff. We had a really interesting problem with using hot strings. And so if you're using this software, ESET, is that what you said, Isaias? Yeah, that's how I usually mentioned it, but I don't know how it's pronounced, is it? Right. Perhaps if you're using any sort of keyboard typing assistant software where I type one thing and it's a password rememberer or hot strings or auto hot key or there's there's dozens of different tools that are like this. If you're having a problems with it sending, triggering and sending your text, hey, know that this appear. I'll put a pretty link up here where you can go look at this and read about it. But um, here it just talks about this. You set keyboard um, security, keyboard, keyboard protection. protection. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yes. You'll want to disable in order to use those tools. And they, they have a discussion here about, well, yeah, the guy's like, just, you can just disable. He's like, yeah, but really should, you know, shouldn't you have a better approach? Uh, but <laughs> that, just the, FYI, if you yeah. have weird things with this and you're using ESET software or other tools that are, you know, security type stuff, we're noticing more and more triggering things is just a little harder these days. So the right. really crazy thing Isaiah's happened to was first he noticed when he's we were using Zoom when Isaiah would type it on our client's computer it worked but when the yeah. client would type it on his own computer it wouldn't work and we're like what in the world is going on that yeah. is <laughs> no, this is, and that's this is the interesting part I'm just reading this here he said randomizes every typed letter right so, um here's what it looks like is happening the physical keyboard it seems to me that the the software uh, i mean the the antivirus software is grabbing the input from your physical keyboard randomizes it sends it to their app which is running all the time and that app then converts it back to what it means and then it's sent to the browser so before sending the typed characters to the browser is being tampered with. Now, the reason why I was kind of like, and to your point, Joe, we were controlling his computer via Zoom. So via Zoom, I was actually typing and stuff and everything was working perfectly fine. But as soon as he was typing on his keyboard, Things were not really working. So it seems to me that this ESET software gets in between the physical keyboard, not the logical one, not the OS, is the physical input and does something with it. This person says that it randomizes every typed letter, right? So yeah. uh, I'm not really clear what it does. But if yeah. you get any issues with any software, any keyboard app that, and then you also have ESET, you might have these types of issues. Yeah, in the call, I, I we were troubleshooting, and I'm like, look, I do know that on certain web pages, it can detect whether a human you're typing it out or not, and and sometimes it'll detect, oh, a human wasn't actually auto hotkey was sending the keystrokes, right, so we're yeah. not going to trigger. This is actually the inverse of that. Of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, it was so puzzling. But it was a, a wow. So there is a way to disable it, you know, this thing, um, or maybe there'll be other ways to work around it over time. But uh, right. Really interesting find, and just so don't don't kill yourself trying to figure out what's going on. Just right. for now, disable that functionality. Right. Uh, it looks like it's a module on the software antivirus software, so you might want to disable that one thing and not the whole antivirus. Um, but in general, it seems to be they they simply say, "Hey, disable that," since the two apps apparently clash. Uh, this is a very unique type of protection. I haven't seen that. This is the first time I see it. I don't know if others, other software does this as well. I haven't seen it well, before. Initially, as I, I, I thought you were going to tell me it takes what you type, it randomizes it, and then it sends the randomized version. No. And I'm like, <laughs> no. holy hell, I don't even know what it is. Like, that's nuts. But right. It's no, but no, it's not. The, it, it does randomizes it, it seems like. It right. grabs a raw, raw input, randomizes it, but sends it to itself, to the other app. So think yeah. of it as two different apps, the antivirus and the the. And it has widget. the it, it, it has, it has a deep. widget. Right, exactly. It, it is kind of like a widget that is and you said how did you notice that because it's a very tiny tiny thing on the right corner of the screen 
So it seems to me that the antivirus sends that to that widget, and the widgets know how how to unscramble it, right? So the the one problem here is that the that widget is between you and the browser, which in certain situations I understand why they might want to do that. I, I understand that there are some applications, so web pages that might take a look at what you're typing, but I don't think this is something that I do not really believe. No web page has access to your raw input from your keyboard. The browser doesn't allow that. The browser, first, yeah, right. They the were... browser is kind of um, having a a little sandbox, so the website can never access any raw information about your computer. So this particular protection does not make much sense to me in the browser sense. Now, if it is on other apps, like for example, if I am on uh, a program, a normal program. Yeah, that program has access to the raw input from my keyboard. That would make some type of sense. But I'm not really sure how that works. Maybe what they're targeting is anything between the keyboard and the browser. So yeah. they're targeting anything between the keyboard and the browser. Because if I have um, a program that is a keylogger, for example, that well, might, I... might, might try to get those. So this is preventing a keylogger from getting your password stolen before sending it to the browser. That's basically the idea behind it, I think. That's what I was going to say was what, what I would love to have done, and maybe we will if, if Bill you know joins us, is to have pull up auto hotkey to show the history of what was just typed and That's see what auto yes. hotkey seeing was typed. And maybe it has the scrambled version, which would maybe be like, likely. Okay, you know, yeah, that, that, that would be a very interesting test. But in general, just know if you're having keyboard issues with this particular software is because they have this one security measure that might uh, affect some apps. Thanks everyone, cheers. Bye.